Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry is separate and isolated in Los Angeles without his family. Moving far away from a place where you have lived your entire life is never easy. However, unlike many people, Prince Harry is currently taking this experience to a whole new level. He left the United Kingdom, the place that he has called home since he was a child, and relocated to another country altogether. Although his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, Prince Harry has only visited the United States, never lived there. So, we can only imagine that it may be a bit of a culture shock for the prince now that he is living in an environment that is so extremely different from the one he is used to. As we all know, the world is going through a very difficult time having to deal with the current COVID-19 pandemic. Millions of people are separated from their families and friends as everyone continues to stay at home during this period of self-isolation. Prince Harry, however, is so accustomed to having everyone who is close to him nearby, and now a royal expert says that the prince is separate and isolated in Los Angeles without his family. Let's look further. Resigning from royal duties. Fans have known for quite some time that Meghan and Prince Harry weren't exactly happy with life as senior working royals. Ever since they announced that they were in a serious relationship, the British tabloids have been nothing less than brutal, making a point of bashing the couple whenever the opportunity arose. Meghan, in particular, has taken serious backlash from the media from everything to her mixed race heritage to her intentions as a member of the royal family. Over the few years that Meghan and Prince Harry were married, it seemed that things went from bad to worse, with Prince Harry releasing a statement in defense of his wife. Unfortunately, the situation just didn't improve. Then Meghan and Prince Harry made the decision to step down from their positions within the royal family. Making the move to Los Angeles At the beginning of their relationship, Meghan and Prince Harry lived at Nottingham Cottage, a small cozy home on the grounds of Kensington Palace. It was thought that after they became husband and wife, that they would remain at the royal residence, moving the short distance to apartment one, next door to Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. Instead, Meghan and Prince Harry surprised their fans when they packed up and left for Windsor, in search of a quieter life away from the glaring spotlight of London. Apparently, the couple didn't find what they were looking for, and after their plans for Mexit were announced, they, along with baby Archie, spent a few months in Canada. Although many people thought that they would make Vancouver their permanent residence, they instead decided to relocate to Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles, California. Prince Harry is separate and isolated in Los Angeles without his family. There is absolutely no doubt that Los Angeles and London are worlds apart, so it is only expected that it would take some time for Prince Harry to get used to his new surroundings. However, it is a little more complicated than that. A royal expert claims Prince Harry is separate and isolated in Los Angeles without his family. Royal expert Angela Mollert said, I very much think that Harry will be suffering from irrelevancy. Right now, the world is not focused on them. He knew for months that they would be miles apart. So why is he feeling this way? Well, as it turns out, in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, Prince Harry isn't able to do what he wants to do. He isn't in communication with the rest of the royals, and it is likely that the entire situation has him feeling a bit lonely. Mollard added, He is separated from his family at a time when the rest of the world is using Zoom or WhatsApp to chat with each other. I can hardly see that happening. He must feel very separate. He doesn't have friends in Los Angeles, she does. Another analysis. The truth about Prince Harry's relationship with Thomas Markle. But you shouldn't do it, because the British tabloids will destroy your life. 
It's no secret many families have drama. Unfortunately, when your Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, aka Duke and Duchess of Sussex, your family drama is broadcast to the entire world. This became especially evident when text messages between Harry and Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, were released on April 20, 2020, amid the couple's lawsuit against Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the Mail on Sunday, for alleged invasion of privacy and copyright infringement. The duo decided to take action after the newspaper published excerpts of a handwritten letter from Meghan to her father, sent shortly after she and Prince Harry got married. In the letter, Meghan expressed sorrow that her dad was supposedly ignoring her, while Thomas refuted these claims in his Mail on Sunday interview, claiming he had reached out to his daughter multiple times. Now the parents have submitted documents to the UK's High Court, including transcripts of messages which reveal Prince Harry begged Thomas to get in touch with them amid the wedding drama. Not only do the texts seemingly prove the royal has been a major advocate for his wife from the very start, but it also sheds light on his relationship with Thomas. Prince Harry pleaded with Thomas Markle. In recently released court documents, texts from Prince Harry to Thomas Markle show that Harry was dedicated and committed to speaking up for his wife, Meghan Markle. It all started when Harry initially reached out to Thomas regarding whether he'd be attending their wedding at St. George's Chapel on May 19, 2018. Thomas, who lives in Mexico, was expected to walk his daughter down the aisle but right before the wedding, it was discovered that he allegedly helped stage paparazzi photos of himself preparing for the big day. It's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. Thomas made the decision to drop out of the wedding as a result of the Fox pause, telling LMT Channel he didn't want to embarrass the couple further. So amid this drama, on May 14, 2018, Harry texted Thomas to give him a well-meaning warning. The Royal wrote, per court docs, Tom Harry again, really need to speak to you. You do not need to apologize. We understand the circumstances, but going public will only make the situation worse. Harry continued, If you love Meg and want to make it right, please call me as there are two other options which don't involve you having to speak to the media, who incidentally created this whole situation. So please call me so I can explain. Meg and I are not angry. We just need to speak to you. Thanks. Prince Harry and Meghan reach out again. Thomas Markle told the Mail on Sunday that after the paparazzi debacle and changing his decision to not attend the wedding, he texted Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to drop out of the nuptials again due to necessary heart surgery. He alleges this disproves Meghan's claims in the published that he ignored her, explaining there were no missed messages. The supposed text as outlined by the mail on Sunday reads, surgery went okay. The doctor will not allow me to fly so of course, I'm sorry but I can't come. Love you and wish you the best of everything. However, texts from Harry and Meghan paint a different picture. Harry continued to advise Thomas via text message. Oh, any speaking to the press will backfire. Trust me Tom, only we can help you as we have been trying from day one. Meghan also expressed worry about her dad's health, writing in a text, very concerned about your health and safety, and have taken every measure to protect you, but not sure what more we can do if you don't respond. Do you need help? Can we send the security team down again? I'm very sorry to hear you're in the hospital, but need you to please get in touch with us. Thomas Markle had kind things to say about Harry. Once upon a time, Thomas Markle had nothing but kind things to say about Prince Harry. Meghan Markle's dad expressed goodwill toward the royal in a June 2018 interview with UK's Good Morning Britain, revealing that before the drama, they had interesting conversations on the phone. If I had a message for Harry, it's get over it. Thomas added, 
He's a smart guy. As for their first conversation, Thomas revealed it was mostly about politics, which kicked off after the cinematographer expressed feeling unhappy about President Donald Trump. Then Prince Harry supposedly asked Thomas for permission to marry Meghan. As he explained, Harry asked for her hand over the phone, and I said, You're a gentleman. Promise me you'll never raise your hand against my daughter, and of course, I will grant you my permission. Thomas' final take on Harry at the time. He said, Very nice man, gentlemen. Very likable. Unfortunately, the former Los Angeles resident has since said negative things about the royal family. He also told Harry to man up in a January 2020 interview, and he might testify against Meghan in court. Of course, we hope everything works out for Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and Thomas Markle going forward. So there you have it. That's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.